table I hear the call and want to flush them all again with Flush Force Series 2 Potty Wagon. That's not what I hear. The potty wagon looks to include a blue and green truck that holds four porta potties. We have two exclusive squishies in there somewhere to find and there is a plunge em and launch em action that we're going to have to see. Series 2 Flush Force from Spin Master. On the back of the box, the contents of this vehicle playset. I found this over on Amazon.com. It might be a little bit early. I've yet to see Flush Force 2 stuff appearing on store shelves. I'm pretty sure any moment now. I didn't realize we were going to be looking at porta potties this time. I know there's also going to be urinals. Everything is so sanitary with Flush Force. I do like vehicles that carry stuff, so this should be fun to work with. Flushies are popping up all over Flushville. Collect them all before it's too late. I wonder if Flushville is right next to Cheap Town. I suppose the potty wagon is the number one ride for when you just gotta go. Like the Flush Force potties from the Series 1, looks like we're adding water to the top of the porta potty, then shaking, opening the door, and reveal. Interesting, I wonder how these are going to really spill out. Might want to get extra paper towels. Okay, contents. One potty wagon, four porta potties, one catapult plunger, two exclusive flushies, one collector's guide, one instruction sheet, and more fine print if you really like that. Well, it's time to remove from package. Interesting open box design. Let's see how easily this comes out. I have a feeling it's going to be trickier than it looks. Okay, the potty wagon is outside of the package. Looks like there's a lot of stuff included with this pack. Let's first check on the new collector's guide for Series 2 Flush Force. We have Crazy Carnies, Fowler Floaters that float. We have Drool Supplies. We have a Sloppy Sports that are bouncy, or if you like the word, rebondissant. I like that word. And we have Squirmier Vermin, which are squishy. And finally we have the Morbid Mutants, which are sticky. So another great group of strange things to start looking for for Series 2. So now let's take a look at this potty wagon vehicle. Looks pretty strong. Good size. I think it will be durable enough to tackle the situation of hauling porta potties. Four wheels on the bottom. Looks like we have a couple driver's seats. I don't think we'll be able to fit Mario in there. His head's looking too big. No, but maybe something more obscure, like this G.I. Joe 25th Anniversary Airtight. What am I doing here? It looks like the vehicle can hold most three and three quarter figures. And I think Airtight would be perfect because of his Airtight suit. He wouldn't worry about the smell. So we'll have to remove his backpack. Ah, he fits absolutely perfect. Well, now let's load up these porta potties, see how they hold in. I think we just removed this top. Yep, just clips right out. And then we can start loading in these potties. Looks like the back of the box has them facing this way, I think. Maybe with the doors facing inside. Then we're gonna wanna flip up these sides because we have tabs that are gonna go into this back wall. So flip up the sides. Oop, might need to hold them in there. And we'll wiggle this back panel in, capturing it pretty well. And we're locked down. 
Oh, it's spinning. Then for add-on awesomeness, let's add on this plunger. We'll look at this a little more too, and that'll fit up on top here. There we go, locks right in. So for a vehicle toy with something to do, this is pretty cool. I love the ability to load in and lock in cargo. And it looks like the truck's detailed very well. We've got some purple slime coming out. Looks like it's radioactive. We have the metal diamond plating element going on. Scratching. Red lights in the back. Good rolly mechanism. Very fun vehicle. Well, I suppose now it's time to unload and start working on these porta potties. So let's just go in reverse. Remove our plunger. That plunger sticks down pretty well, surprisingly. And open up. Maybe reclose the potty wagon for later. And airtight, you may drive around wherever you feel. Back to base. Okay, we have four porta potties to discover. Okay, we have porta potty number one to take a look at. Now that's porta potty number one, not number one inside porta potty. Well, maybe not yet. Pretty well designed. Probably wouldn't be the size for a three and three quarter figure, but a Lego minifigure could possibly use this. From every side, looks like a porta potty. So let's open this front door, see how that all works. Ah, oh, it's empty. So it looks like there's only going to be two porta potties that work and then two will be empty. That's kind of a bummer. I know the box says includes two exclusives. I wish the other two porta potties had at least two single flushers. I guess we could at least see how this works. We have a removable stopper up top. If I could get it. Come on. So the water will go in through here. I'm still trying to figure out how the spillage is going to work. Okay, well let's look for a potty that actually has something inside it. How about this one? This is the number two potty. Oh good, we found something. So like the potties before, we'll fill with water, we'll shake, then open the door to reveal. Oh, I guess I see a plastic seal here, so this shouldn't spill out. If you remove the plastic seal, then it would, but we will uh, maybe do one with the door closed, one with the door open, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's get this going. Slide over here. Open up. Almost could see something in there. It's definitely kind of stuck to the bottom. Let's get out our clear pitcher of pristine water and fill her up. That filled up quicker than I thought. Alright, so now we're going to shake away. Get in a little closer for the reveal. Here we go, are you ready to see what we have? Opening up. That's very green. Very green indeed. This porta potty has been filled. I can see something in there gurgling about. Now I'm just kind of worried how I'm going to do this. All right, here we go. Sploosh. Mostly just water in return. Okay, let's stick my hand in there. And there it is. Is that the guy in the package? I think this is what's on the package getting catapulted. Pretty gross, what was that? So it is something from the Squirmere Vermin and it looks like it is Skin Diver. Well, that's just unnerving of a name. The exclusive Skin Diver. And again, the Squirmier Vermin are squishy, so this is a more squishy character. Alright, well let's find the other potty and find our other exclusive.
Is this one empty or full? Oh, that's the other empty. Ah, there we go. So for the number four porta potty, what is number four, by the way? Gosh, I don't even want to know. Um, let's try doing this with the door open. I kind of want to see how it dissolves behind the seal. I don't think it's going to be that exciting, but let's just do it anyway. So let's remove the top and fill her up. I see a little bit of dissolving going on. Looks like you really need to shake it, so let's uh, give it a real good shake. Make sure the top is closed. Ugh. Okay, let's remove, sploosh this guy out. And we have found the other exclusive, Maniac Mantis, another squirmier vermin of Squishy. I wish they did add a little bit of dye to make the water come out a little more colorful, but that is the porta potty experience. I'm wondering if they'll have other porta potties for sale or if it's just going to be urinals. I guess we will see very shortly. So I guess now clean this up and play with the plunger. So the added feature to the potty wagon is the plunge em and launch em catapult plunger. A welcome sight. Look how it's stuck to the table. You might actually be able to help your parents uh, unclog a toilet with that thing. Nice, very soft rubber. Good accessory. So I suppose, pretty simple. Looks like it should capture any flush em. Well, maybe not. Let's try it again. There we go. We got him. Nice. Can we get two? I think there's enough room for two of them. Yep, there's enough room for two. It almost reminds me of one of those spider catchers. Okay, so this thing also launches. And uh, so let's find a good spot to launch here. We'll secure down. Place a flushy inside. Are they still called flushy? Look at this. Oh, oh no. Try it again. Okay, here we go. Oh, maybe I'm just gonna have to hold it down a little bit. And there we go. And we have a launch. Lose a little bit of suction when we pull it back. That one got pretty far, so you could launch something about five to six feet, maybe more, maybe less. Kind of a fun little add-on to this set. So let's bring back everything and rebuild our potty wagon. So now we have an idea what the Flush 4 Series 2 potty wagon is all about. Not your best source for a bunch of new flushies, but more of a containment zone. I believe the potty wagon is more of a storage option, similar to your Series 1 giant toilet. Ah, that never gets old. Huh. Why is there a litten in here? That's just weird. Uh, a warning next time. I do really like how this vehicle playset unfolds and loads. It's always fun to load in those smaller components to a large component type vehicle thing. There'll be plenty of room for your Series 2 flushies to fit inside the many different porta potties and maybe even up front too where the seats are. Overall, a great playset for your Flush Force characters. Listen, I'm really busy. Can I use this vehicle to attack Cobra with? Yeah, go ahead, Airtight. Yo! Yo! Flush Force, hear the call and flush them all. Series 2 Potty Wagon arrives on store shelves. Fall 2018 runs approximately $20. If you're looking for an excitable vehicle option for your Flush Force plushies, the Potty Wagon has you covered. Well, maybe not has you covered. Perhaps wear a waterproof poncho. Enjoy searching for the two exclusive plushies and the hunt is on for Series 2. That's what I have to say about that. Squirrels sometimes use picnic baskets as porta potties in parks. Thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede.
Please, like, share, subscribe.